Hi, this is Mrs. Lehman from Kearney School. I wanted to take a minute to make sure that you're able to log into the school district webpage in order to get to your online virtual classroom as well as your Pathblazer account. So let's get started. First, you want to go to the philasd.org webpage, which is our school district homepage, and you want to go to login. Once you click login, it will take you to the page that looks like this. You need to type in your user ID and your password. If for some reason you forgot your user ID and password, or you don't know your child's user ID or password, simply reach out to your, their classroom teacher and they will gladly provide that for you. If you don't know your classroom teacher's email, you may go to the Kearney website, which is Kearney, Dot .philasd dot org. Under staff, you will find all the teacher emails. Another way to reach your classroom teacher is Class Dojo. This has been a very effective way for our teachers to communicate with our parents as we get started on our distance learning. So log in using your student's ID as well as password. Once you have that, you want to click the green login button. That will take you to your home page. On the left side, you want to go to Message Center. In the Message Center, you will find the Pathblazer application, which is our reading and math supplemental program your teachers may be requiring you to work on through the week. If you continue to slide down, you will find the Google G Suite. In this suite is where you will find your Google Classroom page. It's important that you log in through the school district page to get here because this way we ensure that all your classes from your teachers in the district are on your page. Once you click Google Classroom, it will open up a page with all of your classrooms on it. Each of those classrooms will have activities in them for you to do during your virtual learning. Once you click on to one of those classes, you will find the assignment from your teacher posted. Each assignment that is new will be posted closest to the top. When you click your assignment, you will see whatever your teacher has left for you to do. When you are finished your assignment, you will either mark it as done because you have completed it, or in some of our older classes, you'll find the turn in button where they want you to turn in the activity. Please make sure you click turn in if you have an activity that has to be turned in or your teacher cannot see it. If you have any other questions, please refer to your teacher or Mrs. Lehman and we can help you through this. We hope that you're staying safe and we'll talk to you soon.